Hello, my name is Rosa Maria Kostic Cisneros and I am collaborating with the Independent Theatre Hungary. I'm extremely privileged to sit down with Mihaela Dragan today who will uh, speak with us about Who Killed Somna Grancha. Um, it's a work that I know that Mihaela has been very involved with and I'd love to um, learn more about your role in, in the work. Um, but if we could, before we talk about the work, if you could tell me a little bit about who you are and, and your background. So I am, uh, I'm, I'm, um, <laughs> I, I try to say this di differently. So I am a Romani actor, the member of the Romani uh, theater company, Julie Pen. Uh, we are an independent theater company based here in Bucharest. And in all of these years, we've, we have been creating a lot, many, many Roma feminist theater productions. So we are the first theater company from, from here, from Romania. And uh, we work on contemporary issues. We write our theater shows. We are a very diverse collective. <laughs> and the company is based in Romania, correct? Okay. Yes. yes, we work here in Bucharest. Okay. We don't, have, we don't have a space because there is no support from, from the state. So we have to work in independent regime, but is a, is a theater group made up by professional Romani actresses. <laughs> That's fantastic. So there's a whole group of you um, that have been creating work, performing work and writing work. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, right. Lovely. Right. And uh, you, you mentioned Romani women. Is is it only Romani women that? No, we are the founders of the theater company. Me and my colleague Zita Mordovan, we we founded the theater group, and afterwards we invited the all the the Roma actors that we knew from Bucharest. So basically, in our group are working over uh, over ten persons, over ten actors. Yeah, between uh, twelve, fifteen. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. And so can you tell us a little bit about um, the work that um, who killed uh, Somnia Grancha and, and your specific uh, role within that, that production? So I'm one of the authors of the theater play. Uh, basically, uh the the play was wrote was written in a, in the collective and it's again a play that is based on uh, on reality but um, besides the duma it's everything the the script is fictional only the 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 story is real so it's based on the story of the somna grancha that was a real person um, a Roma girl from a, a Roma Hungarian uh, a community from here from Romania because we have a big Hungarian community here and many of them they are also Roma and um, unfortunately um, Somna had to commit suicide and before, before, before to do this gesture, this tragical gesture, she wrote um, on a, on a wall, "I am the school." So, and this thing happened fifteen years ago, something like that. And because my colleague, uh, one of the actresses from the theater company, Zita Mardovan, she's also the moderator of the Roma TV show from here from Romania. So she's like a Roma star. <laughs> she investigated, she, invest, she investigated uh, the case at the moment in which, at the moment when it happened. So she was in the community and investigated why, why the girl committed suicide because the 
everyone, you know, the Gaji, the non-Roman people, everyone put it, blamed their parents that didn't want to, to send her to the high school. She and wanted, wanted her to, to get married because she got at that age, you know, when it's supposed to get married. Uh, again, again, we, we were obsessed with this idea of talking about early marriage because it's, uh, it's very tragic in many situations. And this one, this, this case of Somna Grancha was, wow. <laughs> um, yes. So I think she had a message for us when she left her last message, I am the school. I think she had a message for her community, for her society, for, 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 the, for all the girls. And we also wanted to bring more context because the how is the word? The sensationalistic press? Yes. yes. Sens Sensualization of it, yeah. It's, it's so difficult. <laughs> it's difficult, yes. And la, 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 la. <laughs> we should do a theater warm up exercises. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So the press at that moment, you know, wrote about the case in a very sensationalistic way. Um, uh, and like what a shocking like a roma girl she committed suicide because their primitive parents didn't want her to 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 go to the high school and so on and actually we wanted to to to, to give more context and we started this research and we wanted to show how the whole society failed a Roma girl, you know, not only her community or her parents, but also the school that segregated her and she confronted a lot of racism from 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 her teachers, from her her colleagues, because she looked different, because she had to wear only long skirts and so on. And she, everyone looked at her like, you know, like something like an alien. And we, we just created the script, the fictionalist script, giving um, more context to the whole story. And yes, and presenting also like the situation here in Romania regarding the segregation of Roma children in the school and in education. Because again, one of the most, uh, uh, one of the biggest stereotypes about us is that we don't go, we are not, we are not educated, we don't want to go to the school and so on. And this is the only discourse that we hear, like go to the school, go to get your education. It's like you have to go to the school in order to receive rights, you know, and be respected as a person. But people, they don't think about the racism in the schools, the segregation, the late lack of privileges that the Roma, Roma children, they don't have because they live in poverty and education is a luxury. So basically, who killed Somna Grancha is, uh, is a story about how society fails Roma children who, who don't have a chance to education, actually. Mm. And that's a really um, powerful message to be offering, um, uh, you know, a, a, and using also theater to do that. And it's, it's, I think, um, difficult to, to commit to writing something that is so also polemic, you know, especially if media and mainstream society has heard the story in a very specific light and here you're offering another way of looking at this that some might say could be confrontational um but it's not it's about reflecting and saying we all played a part in this and how could we do better and how what is the next step rather than blaming it's about okay what could we learn from this 
And that's quite powerful. And it's a message that is not always received. <laughs> um, so can you talk a little bit about um, maybe some memorable moments or something that you maybe stands out for you in yes. the work or writing the work? Yes, it was one memorable moment when we performed in, um, in a city here in Romania where the most of the Hungarians, the Hungarian minority is living here in Romania in the north of Romania. And we performed in a, in a theater there and a colleague of Somna, he, he was he was among the audience and it was incredible <laughs> it was incredible because uh he left us a message talking us about the somna how how ambitious she was how will how special how genius she was and it was it was incredible to read this letter that that his colleague from high school leave it for us for the actors after the show was uh, finished and we really hope that we honor the memory of somna and her message is brought forward and many roma children who don't have access to education hears her last message and and people again people in power questionate and reflect about about this yes and talking about um messages and honoring uh her message what would be your message that you would like um whether roma or non-roma to know I think my message is when we talk about education and specifically uh, uh, among Roma people, we also have to get used to talk about Gaja being uh, educated and getting their anti-racist educations because it's uh, it's very important for us, you know, the education not to happen only on one side. And this is a problem here in Romania because we don't get any anti-racist education in schools. We don't learn about Roma history. We don't learn about Roma culture, even if the Roma community here is the biggest minority, is the largest minority here in Romania. So we live together and we don't know each other, you know, like, majority, they don't know so much about us. They only, they, they only, uh, uh, borrow all the stereotypes about us because it's easier but they it's really an effort you know and they have to make this effort they have to 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 get this education they have to give us spaces to educate them uh, you know to offer them an uh, anti-racist education when we have when we don't feel that this is a pressure on our shoulders because also i think it's not our job you know to do this education they should educate themselves to know more about us so i think when we talk about education we also have to to talk more and more about this idea of non-Roma people getting educated about who we are, about our uh, op um, oppressive Roma history, especially here in Romania where there was um, five centuries of slavery, of Roma slavery. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm fed up of hearing about you as a Roma should get educated. No, you as a guy, you should also, you know, get your education. Absolutely. And, it, you know, as, as I think the title of the work kind of um, really puts that out there, who, uh, you know, and we're all responsible in some way and all play a role. And on that note, I'd like to just say thank you so much. Um, and I, I love this message of being um, part of, of the, the future and that we all play a role and, and that it's, it's important that we all reflect, educate ourselves, but also um, be mindful of others and not always uh, yeah, think about the, the, 
that it's a blame game or that it's so kind of um, easily divided that way because we're all interconnected. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mihaela. Thank you. Thank you.